Hi friends, it's Dusty. I wanted to share with you some of my experiences with some of the recyclable, reusable products that I've, I've been trying to make use of. And I know that we're all trying to figure out better ways uh, to do things around the kitchen. And so I just wanted to share with you some of the things I'm using and hopefully it'll help you as you're making your decisions about what you want to do, what you want to invest in. So. One of the things that I have are those beeswax paper uh, wraps. And uh, I got a package of three. And one of them I've not even used yet. And two of them I've used extensively. Uh, I use it a lot for cheese uh, because it seems like the world's best cheese wrap. Like I've got a whole block of cheese right here that's in there. Um, I do think that uh, it's best if you can figure out a way to use them where you're not using super like, like I wouldn't put meat in this because I, I wouldn't want to have to scrub it and feel like I'm washing off like rotted anything or bacteria, but something like cheese is super easy. And if you can use it for the same kind of product over and over and over again, where you don't have to scrub it super clean, then um then I think it'll expand the lifespan of it. And so for me, cheese is, these are like the world's best cheese wraps. Um, but of course you can use it to cover a container and it'll mold to the top of, top of the container and um, that's what they market it for. But in all honesty, I think these are like the world's best cheese wraps. The other thing that I have are those um, silicone Ziploc bags. I don't know that I would call these Ziplocs because like this is like one, two, three, four, five of them. And it takes up a lot of space in your drawer. These are bulky items and they're not cheap by any stretch, but they are fantastic for uh, keeping things um, cold and dry. So if you have fruit, if you want, if you have greens, like I will do a week's worth of greens for lunch in a big one, paper towel to keep it dry and then fill it with greens and it's fabulous for that. I'm sure it would work great for soups and other things too, but I, I would not like load this up with liquids, although they say you can. Uh, they also say that you can put things in them and then steam them or boil them. Uh, and I'm sure it's fine for that. I would not do that. Um, just, it's just who I am. They, they are bulky and they do have like the slide on top to keep it closed, uh, which is a little bit cumbersome. So I love them for certain things, but I, they don't replace Ziplocs, but they definitely have minimized my use of or reduced my use of Ziplocs because there are definitely occasions where I might have chosen a Ziploc and instead I will choose this and uh, and it makes me feel better. And they do wash super easily and they're, they definitely come in handy. I, I would not freeze things in them because in order to freeze things in these, you would need like a whole bunch of them and they're so expensive that um, I don't see it for that purpose, but, uh, but they are pretty wonderful. It's, it's definitely a worthwhile investment, but like one package of five will, will do you in my opinion. Uh, the other thing I have that I love, and thank you Buffy and Julie for gifting me these, is these netted bags that the idea is, is that when you go to the market, if you use the single use plastic where, you know, you put your produce in a little plastic bag and then bring it home, this replaces that. So bring these to the market and put your single-use produce in here and then bring it home. Um, in all honesty, I eliminated those single-use plastic bags ages ago, and I'm hoping that most of us have. Uh, so I don't need it for that purpose. But what I do use them for is at home I have my produce bins, and I love separating my produce because sometimes you don't want your avocados, your onions, and your fruit touching each other because they can you know, affect each other. And so it's nice to be able to separate them in this also because the, it has uh, breathability and it aerates, it, keep, it actually keeps them fresher. So like my avocados, I can fit six avocados in the small one and they seem to last longer. 
I haven't even used the big one yet because it's huge. But uh, when I put things in the fridge and in the bin and the vegetable bin and I just want to keep them separated so that they stay aerated and fresher longer, they work like a charm. I love these things. One of the other things I've been using um, are silicone scrubbers for my uh, dishwashing. I am totally on the fence about this. So I like the idea of it. And so using soap and using the silicone scrubber, yeah, it does a really nice job of like getting things clean, but it, you go through like five times as much soap because it doesn't absorb the soap. And so I, I, it almost seems like, yeah, I'm saving on the sponge, but I'm wasting more soap. So one of the things that I'm planning on doing this weekend is getting a spray bottle and doing like our Camp Sexy thing. Um, and doing water with a spray bottle with soap and water mixture where I can spray things down and then use this to scrub. And then I feel like that will be a little bit more ecologically sound because I'll go through less soap. Because um, this uses a lot of soap because it doesn't absorb. Uh, it doesn't scrub super well, but it does do a really nice job for daily dishes. What it does do a fantastic... So you, you still kind of need a sponge... For some things and then this works for some things but what this does work amazingly well for and I have one that I use for vegetables and one that I use for dishes is as a vegetable scrubber so if you want to clean mushrooms and you want to clean vegetables uh, it's um, it works amazingly well for that so I'm glad I have two and I'm, I want to modify my soap routine to uh, make better use of a silicone sponge and not have to get disposable sponges anymore but we'll get there uh, my next best love is ball jars there are so many people that don't realize that ball jars come in different sizes so like my favorite size is the smaller one because I, I just love it but I have ball jars of all different sizes and I think one of the reason people don't like ball jars is because everyone assumes that you have to use like the, the canning container tops where you've got these separated tops and these are kind of a pain in the ass if you're only using it for storing goods. Did you know that you can order or get and just find like solid tops with a ring that's cleanable and reusable and it makes it so much more manageable to use ball jars for daily storage and not have to deal with the separated tops. So uh, if you're a person who likes, want to use this ball jars and glassware, that's uh, that's clutch. To me, like, ball jars are uh, a godsend. And then my absolute favorite, 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 favorite of everything is um, these bags. I got one of, I only have one, and I got it at a market, at a, at a craft fair, and they're like these, they're paper, but it's like leatherized paper. I don't know what kind of magic they've done. And they've stitched them to make bags. And this, and I can unfold this and it can fold over. But I folded it to just keep it as a container. And I use it for my onions. I only have one in there right now. But um, if I could get more of these, I would. I would keep all of my produce in these bags all, everywhere if possible. It, these things extend the life of your onions, your garlic, your potatoes, anything that you have that needs to be like sheltered from sun and in a dark, cool place. Put them in these bags and this is your storage container. Really, really, really is um, an amazing thing and I love, and they're washable. And so I've washed this a whole bunch of times um, and I would love to have one for onions, one for garlic, one for potatoes, one, I mean, just, if you could line these things up and, and use them until the cows come home, that, uh, these, this is my favorite. <laughs> um, yeah, and I'll get more over time. But, uh, so that's the deal. And that's, and I just wanted to share with you, that's my number six birthday gift for the weekend. Thanks so much, guys. Love you.